Hello guys and welcome to DA channel. Today I will show you how to install a used or pre-owned uh, IP camera. Uh, if you are like me and like used stuff in a good condition, so this is a video for you. I don't like giving too much money for a new stuff. When I find something that I need, and it, it's in a good condition like this camera and it looks like a like a gift to me so uh, this one is a little bit dirty so it needs a little bit of cleaning but it's uh, let, let's say it's not an old camera and it's been installed inside so indoors so there is no no damage and no dirt from from rain or something like that uh, i'm planning to install it outside my house so first thing you you should do is to put the sd card inside i put here here there is a slot behind this cover there is a slot for the for the micro SD card I put small SD card you don't need a big SD card because if th there is a 16 gigabytes SD card that was one that I had on me so I couldn't go to to buy a new one and because it is after after the the card is full the camera starts overwriting the oldest video so if it is like mine uh, in house that you are living every day or that you are visiting let's say once a week 16 gigabytes is more than enough because if something happens you will see it on the on the video or on your phone you can check the previous videos frequently and i will show you the app that is used that is something that you should consider uh, buying this card you should know what what application what app is used for because my experience is that not every camera uh, works on on every app so it has its its own fortunately the previous owner told me what kind of application is used for this i will show you how to connect it it is very easy very simple so uh as you can see this one is missing this cover for the for this cable i'm going to use it wirelessly so i will i will because it is going to be outdoors i will protect this with some electric tape and that's it and yes what you have to do uh before you install it try it uh, don't don't first uh, put it on place it is going to be somewhere high try it on ground in house and afterwards you can just connect it to the to the power and it works because this was pre-owned it is uh, set up for the previous network of previous owner you have to do this there is a reset switch you hold this switch for 10 seconds and you will hear the voice uh, the camera is is uh, restarted and you can continue uh, installing the setup you can continue the setup of of the application so i will show you now how to do that as i mentioned you have to uh, reset it by keeping this pressed for reset success okay you will you will hear the reset success now we wait a little bit until then you have to install the app and you see here add device intelligent camera Please configure camera by Scan AP hotspot or scanning code. Next. I already set the network and password. 
and so on. This is a little bit trial and error. Okay, when you hear this beep, it is set. Please wait for Wi-Fi connecting. Okay. And that's it. Please wait for internet connecting. About this, this app has... Uh, <clears throat> internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. Okay. And this application has uh, alarm, has uh, notifications. It notifies. You have a notification on, on the app. And you set it to notify you on motion or on sound or on sound and on motion. It has a night vision mode, it has built-in lights, built-in um, the alarm, some noise, and it's not very loud, but it's good enough to indicate to someone who is moving around your property that someone is watching him. And as I mentioned, I am not using the cloud I have to pay it, which I don't want to. That's the that's the main reason for it. And uh, this can be very useful. I will use it to monitor on my front porch just to to see when the mailman is delivering some uh, mail to me and uh, to see is anyone on my front porch because the porch is a little bit bigger and the kids are playing there so I can monitor on them when I'm not around and more or less that's all and so very useful thing if you don't have it it is very cheap even new is something around 30 bucks so I think it's it's good to have just to monitor your house. I have a several of, of these. Unfortunately, all of them are using different apps. And uh, in the future, I am planning to invest in some little bit more serious uh, CCTV system, and which which is going to use at least five cameras, three outside and two inside of the of the house, and it would be connected to the network by a cable, not by a Wi-Fi. So. Uh, there will be a video, of course, about that. So, thank you very much for, for watching. If you liked this video, if this helped you in any way, uh, please like, share, subscribe. As I mentioned, it means a lot to me. And thank you. Goodbye.